Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we got something really special from our friends at Chicago Motor Cars. This is a 2009 Lexus ISF. Under the hood of this ISF, you're gonna find the five liter V8. Now in this tune, this car makes 416 horsepower in this little car. Uh, a lot of power, variable valve timing, it also gives you a ton of low end torque. It sounds amazing, we'll take it for a ride later and show you. But this is routed, and take note of this as well, an eight speed automatic. With a manual shift function, you got paddles in there. It's routed to the rear wheels like any proper sports car. But it's really a flawless car. This car is an excellent alternative to an M3 or a C63 AMG. Uh, it's in the same class and performance numbers are roughly one and the same, but some you kind of have to experience to know the difference. Let's get up close with this car and just give you an idea of what exactly the ISF is. Uh, this car is in exceptional condition. It's virtually brand new. The tiniest, tiniest little blemishes I'm gonna point out for you. But look at the front here. They've revised the entire uh, bodywork just to accommodate the five liter V8 that resides under the hood here, as well as the 19 inch wheels up front. Uh, the one imperfection I wanna point out is that there's a, a very minor stone chip here. Uh, it does go through the paint, but it doesn't go through the primer, which is obviously a good thing. Easily able to touch up, but as Anybody knows the cars are better in original condition. Got a set of Xenons here with a pop-up sprayer as well as a fog light. Now all the fascia here is unique to the ISF. Doesn't look a whole lot like the traditional IS, whether it be a 250 or a 350. Around the side here, 19 inch wheels. These are the factory wheels. Uh, what seems to be a brand new set of Bridgestone Potenzas. I wouldn't imagine they are brand new because there's really no reason to replace them in that amount of time, but they don't show any exceptional wear. So it doesn't look like this car's ever been paced pretty hard. Uh, but a titanium colored wheel, tiniest bit of curb uh, contact there. But 225 R19 in the front. F badge again indicating the F model. This is called Ultrasonic Blue Mica. That's the name of the color. No dents or dings or any damage. Uh, on the rear again, uh, Bridgestone Potenzas, and these are a little bit bigger on the rear. Get a little bit of curbing here, and that's the end of the wear on the car. Everything else is absolutely beautiful. 255-35 R19. But as I stated, everything on the car is perfectly stock. The rear, you got the quad tip exhausts. They actually have a Lexus cutout here of like a 3M clear coat covering that actually says Lexus in it to protect any damage from loading and unloading into the trunk. But nothing to say about the passenger side. Those wheels are perfect, no curbs, tires are uniform, nice car. The interior on the Lexus shows virtually no wear, just a little tiniest bit of wrinkling on the bolster here, but other than that, that's all. Uh, F badging again to indicate the performance model, but as a six footer, easy step in. Nice bolstering on these seats, they actually feel really tight, but not uncomfortably so. Great steering wheel, small diameter, power tilt and telescope and you have an automatic setting for the Xenons up front. And then down below here, you've got a couple modes. You got traction off, you got traction and stability control, uh, sport mode. It's actually gonna change the transmission to shift at a higher point. And then you've also got a snow mode, which I believe will start you in second gear. So we're gonna keep in sport for today. Multifunction readout gives you all your parameters of the car's performance and efficiencies. Here you've got your multimedia functions. Basically it's your map right here as you can see the navigation system got your climate control functions dual zone uh, audio you've got a bunch of options on here you got satellite radio which is in the car already installed the auxiliary function actually pairs to the ipod hookup right here which is pretty neat it's built right into the car from the factory this is a mark levinson sound system i do consider the mark levinson sound system to be above among the best uh, you can turn it up as loud as you want, it'll automatically compensate for any harmonic distortion, so you're really going to hear the absolute best and the widest frequency range of any music. Uh, below that, have got the 8-speed shifter here. Drop it right in drive, and you're good to go. If you pop in the manual mode, you can use this to shift it. Uh, press it forward to upshift, pull back to downshift, or your left paddle over here uh, will downshift and your right paddle will upshift as well. Heated seats for the front occupants. Everything's of super high quality. The interior smells brand new. It looks brand new. There's no wear to it whatsoever. Uh, and above my head here, got the factory power moonroof. If you pop it in reverse, 
backup camera goes on and we're backing up as you can see. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity is also a part of the setup in here. This car has so much torque. Uh, Dave actually made the comment that it feels like an SRT8 V8, which is larger and more powerful, but it is somewhat similar, and that's a great thing. Lexus makes great cars. They're probably the best engineered cars in the world as far as refinement, durability, and longevity. But this, uh, you know, they've been criticized for not being a very sporting make. I, you could never, ever, ever throw that at this car. I mean, it rides stiff, but it's firm. Not too bad, doesn't beat you up. It's still Lexus quiet in here. You hear the V8. And not a whole ton more. The tires are perfectly quiet. Uh, I'll hit the brakes, I mean, the alignment's dead straight. So this car really hasn't been compromised. Ever. And it's my first time behind the wheel of an ISF. And it's nicer than what I had anticipated. Not to say I hadn't anticipated a great car. I did. But it's, this is really a crazy daily driver. And it looks like, I mean, they get fe decent fuel economy. Listen to the audio of this. This is no, no Japanese car sounds like this in my opinion. Wow. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It sounds like a big block in a way. Actually, it sounds like a very technological V8. Very smooth, very fluid. I mean, here we're gonna hook a 90 degree turn here. Car's perfectly flat, no noise, no squealing, no nothing. And then if you wanna come right back out of that. Wow, that's so cool. All right, it's been a little while, but here we go. That is fast. There's no denying that, that is just straight up fast. And smooth, you just bury it and go, and the sound is factory awesome. That's my new term, factory awesome. No mods, totally stock. It's brand new, why buy a new one? It's only got 12,000 miles on it, but at the curb you'd never know. <laughs> 